Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. It is spring and you know, we've heard the expression, it's time to do some spring cleaning, right? Well, that includes your body and we've got some easy ways to do just that. Dr. Liza Boone has a PhD in nutrition and she's the national educator for with Solgar, the gold standard in vitamins and minerals for 75 years. She joins us now with some helpful tips on spring cleaning your body. What do you mean by that, Liza? Well, you've probably heard about doing a detox diet. Sure, yeah. Uh, maybe doing fasting, a juice fast, um, detox pills, fiber pills, something like that. There's a lot of different ways that you can do it. But my personal favorite way is with a detox smoothie. Okay. And what I do is I replace my breakfast with a smoothie every day for seven days. And then what that does is that gives my digestive system a break. Okay. And I'm able to get all the nutrients I need while I still feel full. So I don't feel hungry like you do on other detox diets. All right, and uh, I'm noticing just looking at this is everything is natural. It looks like it came from the earth, so we're not necessarily putting any kind of powders or pills or anything. It, and it, exactly. does, it does just a great job, I'm assuming, right? Yes, it's all food. It's only seven ingredients. And what you do is you blend all these together in the morning mm -hmm. and you have your smoothie, your breakfast ready to go and you should feel more energetic and lighter. It makes you feel much better throughout the day when that happens. What yes. all goes in it? Cause I'm seeing a lot of green. What all are we gonna put in this, this uh, uh, spring cleaning smoothie? Well, it is actually almost all green. So you have seven ingredients. Okay. We start with ginger, cilantro and kale. Okay. And then we add apples, bananas, pineapple, and lime. All right, and just need a, a blender to put all this in here. Uh, before yeah. we kick it off, uh, get your banana. This is the most ugly, why would you bring this banana? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> well, I brought that in because that's what happens to them about two days after you buy it, Okay. right? <laughs> so before it gets to that stage, you're gonna wanna peel it and put it in the freezer in a plastic bag. Okay. It's a great way to preserve them and also they blend up beautifully and make a nice smoothie. And nice you're not gonna smoothie. taste any difference. Uh, no, no, frozen. it tastes exactly the same. All right, and probably would help out with the consistency as well. All right, yes. let's uh, put them in and tell me what each kind of does once we put those into okay. our blender. First off, we... The uh, first thing we put in is the hardest to blend up thing, which is the ginger. Okay. So this is a half inch piece. I love ginger. I put more in, but for the sake of well, today... Well, ginger we'll we know is good for the stomach. I it is very much. good for your stomach. It helps with nausea. It also helps with anti-inflammatory properties that it has, and it also helps with moving things along, so, which is what we want to happen, right? So All right. Next, ginger. Next up. Very good. Next is cilantro. All and right. cilantro, I love. Not everybody loves it. Some people, it tastes like soap. So I like to put a lot of it in here. If right. you don't like cilantro, you can use parsley, but I'm gonna put a lot of it in here. And that's because cilantro has the unique ability to be able to draw heavy metals out of our bodies. Oh, okay. So it's really good Just cleansing. Just like Sammy Hagar. Yes, exactly. It draws Sammy Hagar <laughs> out of our body. So we have <laughs> cilantro and ginger. You're gonna be driving 55 <laughs> once you get that cleanse. You know, that's right. All right, moving on now, we got the cilantro. Uh, again, you wanna keep the harder stuff that's yes. gonna chew up, which would take us to apples, I imagine? Uh, no, kale would kale? be next. Okay, yeah, okay. so kale, you need to blend up really well. So I'm gonna put this in next. Kale is a thousand out of a thousand on the superfood scale. Oh, really? It has so many vitamins and minerals in it. Also, it has a lot of vitamin K, which is hard to find in our diets, which is good for your brain and your bones. Somebody tell me, like, it's easy to grow too, right? Yes, you can grow this anywhere, yeah. even in the snow or the heat of the summer. Oh, neat. All right. Now yeah. the apples? Now the apples. Okay, very good. All Absolutely. Right. So, we, since it's a green smoothie, we're using green apples. Green apples. But if apples, you have a little red one, I'm sure that's not going to kill you, right? An apple a day keeps the doctor away. All that's right. what they say. So we'll put a whole apple in here. All right. And then after our apples, we are putting in... Pineapple. Our pineapples. We'll let you do that. Yep. We'll just dump the whole thing the in here. The pineapples are going to give me the taste, I would imagine. Pineapple right? gives you taste, but also it's good for anti-inflammatory properties as well. Right. And fiber. You're noticing a lot of fiber here, right? This is going to move right through us. Lime. And the last thing is lime juice. And the reason I use lime juice, and you can cheat with the plastic bottle if you want, is to extend the life of the smoothie. So you can double the recipe and make two smoothies ahead of time. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. so cool. lime really juice neat. helps with that. So we push that in just to taste. We blend this yep. up here for what, how long? Uh, a minute. Yes. Oh, we need to add the water, don't oh, we? Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta add water. Water. Oh. <laughs> And put that in there, mix that up for about a minute, and end the results. Yeah, I won't do that to you here. I made one for you ahead of time. We sped, sped through, very good. Liza, thank you so much for joining us. It's time to do some spring cleaning, and you can do it with your body. So bon appetit.